Hello and welcome to Sparker Yarn Crafts. I am Will Sparker and today I have another haul video for you. I'm keeping it in this box of Caesar's dog food. Uh, it's empty. Um, well, there's no dog food in it anyway. Uh, because this came in um, like a, a, a mailing bag and I just didn't have anywhere to store it and I wanted to keep things nice and stackable. So I've got a short little haul. This one came from yarn.com, also known as Webs. I know that Webs has recently been purchased by Lovecrafts. This hat is not fitting my head, oh my goodness. Uh, we're gonna switch hats. I have a lot of hair and I'm tired of wearing it in a ponytail, so I'm wearing hats now. Oh, that's better. Woo, can you guys hear the train? Um, okay, so I bought it from webs from their clearance section i saw some yarns that i just i really wanted to try i've been wanting to try yarns with chainette construction I, wow that train is loud i don't know if you all can hear that but i live like two blocks away from railroad tracks and for some reason they like to blow through here late at night with their horn just blaring um Anyway, let me show you what I got from Webs. Uh, Webs, again, has recently been purchased by Lovecrafts. I don't know how that's going to affect things going forward, uh, but I did buy this a couple weeks ago. Um, so let me just show you what I got. The first one is a yarn from Juniper Moon Farm, and it's called Stratus. And I love Juniper Moon Farm, by the way. Uh, I have several of their alpaca, baby alpaca yarns somewhere up in my stash. This yarn is, uh, it's chain at construction. Give it a second. There we go. So chain at construction. And this is a 50 gram ball. It is 142 yards. It is a medium worsted weight yarn, medium four. It is 60% wool, 10% yak, 10% alpaca, and 20% nylon. It's very soft, very lofty. It looks a lot like an I-cord, like a three-stitch three I-cord maybe. Beautiful yarn. So I got this one is Vanilla Sky, and I got another one in the colorway Purple Rain. I thought those were really cute. I think these were maybe about four or five dollars a ball. Uh, again, things were on sale and I was shopping the clearance section. The next one that I have is also chain net construction. This is from Taki Yarns. I believe it's called Aston. This colorway, it doesn't have a color, it's just color four. It's 50% merino wool, 24% alpaca, 24% acrylic, and 2% nylon. Uh, it's made in Italy. It's 82 yards for 50 grams. And this looks like it's probably a 5 bulky. It doesn't say, but the needle size is a 10.5 or a 6.5 millimeter, so that's heavy worsted bulky weight. Um, so this is the yarn. I did get this kind of bluish gray color. Again, chain it construction. And I got two, two balls of that, so 100 grams total. Another one from Taki Yarns. This is called Vermont. Um, and this is... 50% merino wool, 50% super fine alpaca. This is a natural yarn, so this is undyed. This is 93 yards for 50 grams and would be considered a worsted weight yarn. I got two of these. This is not chain at construction, this is just plied. But I love the natural colors that have been plied here. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. So I got a total of 100 grams. I think that's right, yeah, 100 grams total. Uh, the next one I got two yarns is from Stacy Charles, which is so Taki and Stacy Charles are the same thing, I guess. Um, anyway, this is called Stella. It's seventy four percent silk, twenty six percent lurex. It is twenty five grams, seventy six point five yards. 
this is... Well, they're saying worsted. I'm going to think it's kind of DK. This is also chain net construction, but it's a very, very sparkly yarn. And so I got 50 grams total because these are 25 gram skeins. These ball bands do not want to stay on. Um, but it, it is chain net construction. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's really small, but it's super shiny. Uh, so that's why I bought it because of the sparkles. I bought, I bought it because of the sparkles. I'm not going to lie. Okay, everything else I bought, I believe, is some some kind of baby alpaca. So this one is Cloudborn Fibers Limited Edition Alpaca Sport in the colorway Plum Heather. It is 100% baby alpaca. It is a sport weight. It is 190 yards for 50 grams. I got 100 grams total. Super soft. This is really, really soft. I really love this. So 100 grams of the Plum Heather, and then I also got 100 grams of Charcoal Heather. So it's the same yarn, just a different colorway. So 200 grams total of Baby Alpaca. I think I paid like $6 a skein for these. And then I also got the Cloudborn Alpaca DK, 100 grams. Um, so each skein is 100% alpaca, it's 137 yards for 50 grams, it's a 3 DK weight, and this colorway is taupe heather, so I got 100 grams of taupe heather, and I got 100 grams of garnet heather. Gorgeous, gorgeous, super soft, again I think I paid maybe 6 or $7 per skein of this. Um, I love webs. They have a lot of amazing luxury yarns for very, very affordable prices. I actually think I have some back here in my stash. There's that white tag sticking out right there. Um, that is a wool silk blend. It's a 100 gram fingering weight skein, and I got two of them, but I think they were $15 a piece, and I got those at Stitches West in last February, I think, 2020, February 2020. Yeah, because we hadn't shut down yet. So February 2020, Stitches West, I bought those when uh, Webbs had their booth at Stitches West. Um, so I, I have bought from them, but they have a lot of really amazing yarns. Sometimes they get places like Malabrigo or other, uh, some of the bigger dyers will do exclusive colorways specifically for the web store, which is awesome. Uh, if you can catch them at a festival when we are back to doing things in person, you should absolutely check out their booth. They have a lot of really cool things. I know that some of these, like, alpaca yarns, you can get them in cones, and they only cost, like, $25 or $30. So it's a great way to get luxury yarns for really affordable prices. So I would definitely recommend checking out Webs, uh, especially before they really start much with the transition uh, to Lovecrafts or whatever that's going to be. Um, so that's the last haul that I have from the Christmas into 2021 break that I kind of took. Um, the future of this channel is, well, not really the future. Well, I guess it will be the future. Anyway, let's derail that train of thought for a second. Um, <laughs> things you can expect on my channel. More tutorials. I really want to d show you more of fun techniques and patterns and, and different stuff like that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing more tutorials for you. I am also looking forward to trying keeping up with my podcast. And uh, I, there's another thing I want to try called Make It Monday, where I go and find uh, a pattern that speaks to me. It could be knit, crochet, free, paid, uh, just kind of all over the spectrum, um, but I'll look on Ravelry and I will look in other places as well because I know not everybody is using Ravelry. Um, I will also look on the new platform called Ribbler. Ribbler is one of my places that I put a lot of my designs now. Um, I actually put them in both places, but I like using Ribbler as a designer. Um, and I, I think their platform is kind of the future in the direction we need to head in. So, um, 
look forward to all of that. I'm going to be working out the details and posting those videos as I kind of work out the kinks on how I want to present those. So uh, stay tuned to the channel for that. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notifications every time I post a video and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what was the favorite yarn that you saw and uh, if you've ever bought from Webs, what, the, what your favorite yarn that you've purchased from them is. I'm always looking for new things to try. So um, yeah, leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again here soon on the Sparger Yarn Crafts channel. Thanks. Bye.